Welcome to Profit Profit X, NEO Stock Analysis Part 6. NEO crushed their December delivery numbers. And so we are left with one catalytic event for NEO stock price NEO Day on January 9th, 2021. So, in Part 6 of NEO Stock Analysis, we look into the future and consult NEO Stock Chart to help us predict what will happen leading up to NEO Day 2021. And I have to say, we found some incredibly exciting stuff on NEO's chart, if you're bold at it. So for all of those short-term momentum traders, I highly suggest you tune in very, very closely for this episode. So let's cut through the noise, distinguish noteworthy from not, consult the chart, and help you capitalize big on NEO stock. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ben, lawyer turned real life investor, best-selling author, and CEO founder of the Profit Profit Trading Group in Silicon Valley. And with that, welcome to Profit Profit X, where you will learn how real life traders and investors actually make trading and investing decisions, pounce on trading opportunities, and grow and manage world-class stock portfolios. So help me help you and hit the subscribe button. The greatest trading signal of all time are signals. You see, truth is within a combination of signals and in no one signal. And today, we witnessed just that play out on NEO stock chart. The combination of four powerful trading signals. A breakout from a bullish pennant, a bullish MACD crossover, a Bollinger Bands double bottom, and a breakout from a Bollinger Bands squeeze. So. Let's get technical. Technical, baby. <laughs> right off the bat, we find a continuation pattern forming on NEO's daily stock chart, most likely a bullish pennant pattern. Now there are three conditions we must meet to categorize the pattern as a pennant. We have the first element, converging trend lines during a consolidation period. We have the second element, pause in share price over the last three weeks or so. Now volume is incredibly important in evaluating a pennant pattern. We want to see above average volume leading up to the pattern, weakening volume within the pattern, and above average volume at the breakout point, that is when and if share price breaks through and up the upper trend line. We meet the first two conditions, above average volume leading up to the pennant and weakening volume within it. However, the breakthrough candle here at Gravestone was actually below the 50-day volume average. Still, take a closer look at the date. New Year's Eve. The Christmas and New York break are periods of light volume. Big brokerages tend to close out their positions at the end of the year in order to show their clients how well their portfolio performed that year. New stock positions typically occur after the New Year. For those reasons, we can't discount the low volume breakout candle here. We have to wait and see how NEO performs in the coming days. Does the breakout continue, i.e. share price opening and closing above the upper trend line and volume increasing to above average levels? Should that occur, traders typically use the bullish pennant to place entry and exit points. For instance, setting an entry point and placing a limit buy order just above the pennant's upper trend line. The price target or exit point is typically derived by measuring the height of the flagpole and adding it to the price point at which breakout occurs. Here, the flagpole starts at $29.26 and reaches $57.84. The breakout should be around $48.62, meaning the price target or exit is $77.20. A stop loss is often set at the lowest point of the pennant, which would be about $40 here. Now, a bullish pennant is a positive sign, but we can't just pull the trigger on that alone. Most traders use pennants in conjunction with other patterns or technical indicators that serve as confirmation. Among its many applications, Bollinger Bands may be used to identify chart patterns. A double bottom pattern within the Bollinger Band suggests that share price is positioned for an upward move, making it a popular buy signal or entry point for traders. A Bollinger Band's double bottom occurs when there is a decline in price, low number one, followed by a rise in share price, then another fall in share price that hits near the previous low, making low number two, and finally another rise in share price. So we look for share price to touch the lower band, react, rise and close near the middle band. Next we want to see share price make a second low near the lower band, react, 
rise and approach the middle band. At which point, traders look to buy or enter the trade once share price breaks through the middle band. Here, the $47.50 price level, as it is a signal that the stock could be preparing for an uptrend. Bollinger Bands may also be used to identify the beginning or end of trends. Specifically here, we find a narrowing of the band called a squeeze. We identify a squeeze by looking for areas where the polling bands narrow. Ideally, the bandwidth should be at the low end of its six-month range. Here we find the Bollinger Bands were at their farthest point in mid-July 2020. From there, the bands narrowed, reaching a low in October, with a bandwidth around 70. Now fast forward to present day. We find the bandwidth is right around 70, the low end of the 60-month range. Now why does it matter? Well, a squeeze means volatility is low. That's quite significant here since volatility tends to be mean reverting. That is, periods of low volatility are generally followed by high volatility and vice versa. When we find a squeeze, we know volatility is low, but since volatility is mean reverting, we know the bands will probably expand. The opposite of low volatility is high volatility, wide bands, which means increased likelihood of an explosive move in share price. Traders may use a squeeze to place an entry point above the upper trend line or a sell exit point below the lower band. However, just like the pennant pattern, Bollinger Bands should be paired with other patterns and indicators. So we turn to one of the most popular and generally accurate technical indicators, the MACD. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD popularity is largely due to its ability to help quickly spot increasing short-term momentum. Many traders will watch for a short-term moving average, here the green line, to cross above a longer-term moving average, here the red line, and use this signal as evidence of increasing upward momentum. In other words, explosive upward share price movement. The bullish crossover suggests that the price has recently been rising at a faster rate than it has in the past, so it is a common technical buy sign. Ideally, you want to see the bullish crossover occur below the zero level. That is, the green line crosses the red line below the zero level. However, a bullish crossover that occurs above the zero level is still a bullish sign. In fact, it can often correctly predict the reversal in the trend. Rather, it's just considered a little bit riskier than if the MACD were below zero, if the crossover happened below the zero level. And today, on January 4th, 2021, we witness a bullish crossover develop on NEO's chart. The short-term moving average, the green line, crossed through and above the longer-term moving average, the red line, predicting increasing upward momentum. In other words, explosive upward share price movement. Now, the cross occurred at the MACD 1.12 level, which is above the zero level, obviously. Yet, it's pretty good for NEO, considering NEO rarely drops below the zero MACD level. So what are your thoughts? Where does NEO go from here? What are your price targets leading up to NEO Day? Let me know what you think in the comments section of the video. Truth lies within a combination of trading signals. And today, that combination of signals projected a bullish signal. Earlier in our NEO stock analysis series, I mentioned that NEO is in a consolidation phase having cooled off a bit since that meteoric rise. Now, it's too early to tell. One trading day does not define a stock chart, but the patterns and technical indicators that we found today, when combined, paint and even predict explosive share price movement, a bullish breakout. Going forward, if you're a bull that is, you want today to repeat itself tomorrow and in the coming day to ensure this wasn't a false positive. Neo day is nearing, so we're going to help you do just that in part seven of our NEO stock analysis series. If you liked this video and want to find out more in part seven, hit the subscribe button now. For in part seven, we will expand on our NEO chart and data analysis and help you navigate the price swings and volatility we're very likely to see leading up to and through NEO day. All right, see you in the next video, Stock Trades and Strats. Sign up for an actual stock market education. The tools, training, resources, step-by-step -step guidance, mentorship from real, real-life traders and investors. But do something. Help me help you.